was a fun day. What's going on everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day so far. So today, yes, we're going to talk about a variation of an Afro beat that I do in that specific type of genre. Oh yeah, it's gonna get kind of crazy. Y'all already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. So to all the new subscribers, welcome to Tape Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but just had to welcome you to the channel. And I do hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I upload. And yes, I normally upload every Monday and every Thursday, and it's normally things that you request. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, just the comments, man. Seriously, you guys emailing me, asking me for some advice, man. I'm loving the love. I'm loving the love. I'm trying to tell you guys. This is like a family type vibe. You gotta love it. Also, I forgot to mention this last week and I actually kind of forgot, so my bad. Man, it's been two straight years that I've been doing Tutorial Thursdays. That's some craziness. A new tutorial every single Thursday. Something different, something new to learn, man. There's some crazy stuff that we've been able to do this together for two years. I know earlier this year, like around May, June, and July, kind of going into August, but y'all already know why. You know, I, I couldn't upload every Thursday because I was moving and I, bought a house and I had to renovate the house. But you know, it's great to be back. It's great to be doing these videos again every single Thursday. Like I said, I promise to always upload at least every single Thursday. I can miss a Monday. I might miss a couple Taco Tuesdays, but every Thursday, y'all already know. Gotta stay faithful to it, man. Just kind of to reminisce, man, when I really started being serious in this channel around 2017 and the end of September, I didn't think this channel would be what it is today and reach as many people as it's reached today. And it surprises me getting messages from people from South Africa, people from India, people from Germany, people from Australia, people from Japan. It's crazy. I would have never thought that. And you know, I would have thought we would have been on this side of the earth or something like that. But man, it just amazes me how much this channel has grown and how much it continues to grow. And I think it's best suited because I really didn't celebrate it last week that I celebrated with a pattern that I enjoy playing from a culture that it's not really from me, but they accepted this beat. It's crazy. So for those that don't know, I'm actually one of the percussionists for a gospel singer by the name of Sonny Badu, who primarily stays fusionizing with African contemporary gospel music. So he really kind of blends in those elements of an African culture from Ghana, from Nigeria, from Congo, from Zimbabwe. It's just all these different cultures and elements blend it into one and at the same time making it contemporary gospel. It's kind of amazing when you can blend even those type of elements to make a specific genre. But they have a rhythm or a pattern in which when I ask, they just call it an Afro beat, which is cool. I love it. And if you notice, it's kind of different, very lively, very fast, moving a lot. It's just beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. And to kind of get the gist of it, you're actually playing like a 3-2 clave, but it's not like a song clave. It doesn't really have that kind of like smooth kind of trail, but it still has that 3-2 pattern like Yeah, it's just that kind of feel and that kind of vibe is what drives, or I could say the foundation of that beat. So the pattern I'm gonna talk about today and the pattern that you saw me play in the beginning of this video is just a pattern that I fusionized various different elements, some wawanko de matanza, some like bomba and even like some samba elements in there. And I just kind of blended it to kind of communicate with the drummer. And if you notice, the drummer is doing a lot, not in a bad way, but he's actually just communicating with the elements that is around him. You know, it's it's just a vibe. That whole style is a vibe and it gets everybody dancing, it gets everybody moving, it gets everybody just happy and just. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. That's y'all boy. That's y'all boy right there. 
So what I'm going to do today, I'm gonna show you briefly how this pattern goes and then I'm going to break it down and then I'm going to count it for you just so you guys can figure out how crazy this placement is. And it's gonna be pretty hard when you figure out where the one is. It's unbelievable, but it's beautiful. And then I found this little basic track that I could play around with and I think I'm gonna put it as the background music for this. But yeah, I'm gonna play along to that so you guys can see how how this vibe kind of goes with music and then if you see the song it's kind of slow so it's going to really benefit how I'm communicating throughout this song but it's just going to be brief as you already know we just got to keep this thing moving but yeah enough of this talking let me just show you this pattern That is a beautiful workout, but you got to love it. So let me show you what I'm doing. If you notice, I am playing pretty freely there and I'm just moving around the set. You're gonna see some accenting and some ghosting, but I'm gonna try to break it down for you. So I start this pattern with a close slap with my dominant hand on the conga. After doing that close slap with my dominant hand on the conga, I'm gonna do an open with my non-dominant hand to the tumba on my non-dominant side. So it's gonna sound like this. After doing that open with my non-dominant hand on the tumba to my non-dominant side, I'm going to do an open on the conga with my dominant hand. So it's gonna sound like this. Now to put that part together. After doing that open with your dominant hand on the conga, with your non-dominant hand, you're going to do a close slap on the conga. And then after doing that close slap, you're going to do an open with your dominant hand on the tumba to your dominant side. So it's gonna sound like this. Now to put everything together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. Now here comes a nice little flavorful piece in this part. After doing that open with your dominant hand on the tumba to your dominant side, with your non-dominant hand, you're going to do like a tap or a ghost note on the conga. And then with your dominant hand, you're going to do a close slap on the conga. So it's gonna sound like this. Now to put everything together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. Now if you want, you could change that ghost note with a close slap. Sometimes in the middle of playing, it may come out and you may prefer it that way. But yeah, most of the time your hand is just going to react in a ghost note or tap type of way. But yeah, if you wanted to do a close slap, it's gonna sound like this. After doing that close slap with your dominant hand on the conga, now with your non-dominant hand, you're going to do a close slap on the conga. And after doing that close slap, you're going to do two opens with your dominant hand on the tumba to your non-dominant side. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put everything together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. Now let's hear it if you wanted to change that ghost note with the close slap, just so you can hear the difference.
see how it could be a little bit much? The ghost note kind of adds a little bit more dynamic to it. Now to start the pattern all over again, after doing those two opens with your dominant hand on the tumba to your non-dominant side, with your non-dominant hand, you're just going to do a close slap, which is actually kind of goes together with the close slap that starts this whole pattern. So just to finish that part so you could see how it's gonna start all over, just to kind of get the gist of it, this is how it's gonna sound like. Now to play the whole thing kind of stopping right where we are starting at, it's going to sound like this. Now to play the whole pattern through, it's going to sound like this. craziness but you got to love it now to count it slowly oh yeah it's about to get intense well it's gonna sound like this one two three four 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 one two My goodness. Now to play it to a track, it's gonna sound kind of like this, but uh yeah yeah. Let me uh let me put that track on real quick.
back from that craziness. But if you're able to see, it kind of flows with everything that's going around. I know that track has like some, you know, synth percussion in there, but it even blends well with that. It's kind of crazy. But it's a fun beat. It's a great placement, especially in the feel of things, man. You got to love it, man. You got to love it. Trust me. It's a fun type of a uh, fun type of groove. Try it out. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. See if you tried it out. See if you like this format. I know a lot of you have been asking for me to play along with some tracks. It's kind of hard to find tracks that aren't already monetized or copywritten or require royalties or cost a lot of money. So I try to find here and there and work with certain people like Guy Guido that allow me to use their tracks and allow me to benefit at least to make, you know, $5 or $6 off of this video, you know, cause that's what it really is. I don't make much money off of these videos and I at least, at least, you know, let me make, let me make $4 so I could buy, you know, some large fries or somewhere. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get some more tracks so you guys can kind of get the feel of things and understand how the placement of things goes. But all right, y'all, y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend. And I'm actually going to have a great weekend. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I think you may see something. And I think you may have to wait for that kind of video. But let's just say I'm going to Georgia this weekend. And there's a company that's from Georgia. That's all I'm saying. Peace. Peace.